so in this video we are going to talk about dns so welcome back folks this is shadul gavande from ace knowledge and let's start with our concept so dns stands for domain name system as we know every network has an address so we call this address as an ip address right so what dns actually does is it maps our ip address into a particular name called as domain name right so let me give you an example if i open my command prompt over here and if i ping the world's famous web page which is www.google.com okay so ping command is basically to check whether a network is active or not if we get in if we get reply back in then it then it is said that the network is active if we don't get any reply it is said that the network is inactive so let's pay, ping our web page google.com and if i hit the button enter i get reply from the address 216.58.196.68 and the statistic says that send packets equal to 4 received equal to 4 and lost equal to 0 that means the packets the number of packets which are sent the same are received back and no, no and there are no lost of packets right so the address is pinging www.google.com and over here into bracket is the address of the google the ip address of google now let's say if i open my web browser and what's this ip 216.58.196.68 so if i type in here as 216.58.196.68 and if I hit the button enter, I get my Google web page, right? So that's what DNS does. It maps your IP address into a particular domain name. So here my IP address is 216.58.196.68 and my domain name is www.google.com. So that's the role of DNS. So let's try it implementing practically in our Cisco packet tracer over here. Let's create a network. Let's take a generic PC then let's take a switch as we want to connect to a router let's take a router one over here a generic router and let's connect them uh, in a wire pc to switch pc to router let me make a note over here of my network address which i'm going to configure it is 192.168.10.0 so this is my network address so let's configure our router, get into interface FA0 slash 0. Let's give our default gateway which is 192.168.1.10.1. As default gateway is network address plus 1. Subnet mask which comes automatically. Make sure you enable the port stages to on. And over here now I want to configure my PC to give IP address to my PC but not hard coding my IP address I don't want to give it statically I want to get it dynamically with the help of DHCP so what do I require I require a server which kind of server I require a DHCP server a generic server over here and let's give this name as DHCP okay let's make a note over here of this routers address which is 192.168.10.1 and for DHCP we'll connect it over here okay and we'll configure this DHCP. Let's first give the IP for this DHCP server 192.168.10.2. Uh, here we have given 10.1, so let's uh, default is always dot one at the end. So let's give this DHCP as 10.2 and a default gateway which is 192.168.10.1. So now in the config mode, get into config mode into DHCP our part is to do deal with DHCP server so simply click over here on DHCP so you get a GUI over here interface so earlier in DHCP part 1 uh, we have seen we have configured DHCP with the help of command line CLI okay in the CLI mode we have entered and there we have set the pool name the default gateway uh, and the start IP address all that all that stuff right so if you have not seen that video I would recommend you to, to I would recommend you to watch that DHCP part 1 videos okay so that you can understand or you can get a clear idea of how it works through command line so here the pool name you can give any pool name if you are giving any other pool name I'm configuring this DHCP by giving default gateway default server uh, sorry DNS server start IP address and all these things then you need to click on the add button 
if you are changing the pool name well if you are not changing the pool name and keeping the pool name same as default which is server pool then you need to simply save it so here let's say i'm not changing my pool name i don't want to change my pool name i'm keeping it the same and i'm configuring it my default gateway which is 192.168.10.1 dns server let's uh, well dns server will come in some time so let's give the ip over here as 192.168. let's say 10.40 will be our dns server ip address and start ip let's say 2 and simply I'll save this because I'm not changing my pool name. If I'm changing my pool name and configuring the same, I need to add it. Okay, so I'm saving it now. Uh, so the configuration has been saved. Make sure the service is on of DHCP and the rest of the service I need to keep it as off because I don't want to use them, right? And close this window, wait for some five seconds and then get into a PC IP configuration over here and let's click on dhcp to get our ip addresses so here the request is successful we have our ip address subnet mask default gateway and dns server so let's close this part and now uh, let's say now we, we have to deal with dns right so what we have to do we have to get into web browser in order to get a particular website and let's say i want my own channels website i'll say aceknowledge.com and if I hit the button enter, I get blank output. Why is it so? Because we don't have a server called as HTTP server. So in order to access any of the websites, you need to have a server called as HTTP server through which you can get the, you can get your particular website or particular network, right? So let's create an HTTP server over here. Let's take another generic server. We'll give the name for this server as HTTP server will connect this particular server with the help of our switch and will configure this server so what was the address for this DHCP it was 10.2 so we'll make a note over here as 192.168.10.2 and for this uh, for the PC it was assigned 10.3 okay so 192.168.10.3 so let's give this IP for this server as 192.168.10.4 and our default gateway which is 10.1 so now that we have configured HTTP by giving an IP subnet mask so let's get into now config mode so our part here is to deal with HTTP so make sure you get into the HTTP section over here and this is our web page which I want to be displayed on calling my website aceknowledge.com right so you can actually customize your web page as you need so I'm here customizing my web page as I want to display some message so I'll say I'll take h1 over here and let's print hello folks and simply close the header tag and then close our body so let's say this is my web page which I want to be which I want to be get displayed on my web browser of this PC. So make sure this uh, you design a web page as according to your need and don't forget to check whether the port status HTTP port status is on. And the rest of the things I want to be off as I'm not dealing with any of this thing now DNS DHCP. I'm only dealing with HTTP. So I want only HTTP to be on. So close this. Get into our PC now back and we'll check the same website we'll type the url as aceknowledge.com and still we don't get any output why is it so because we have not yet mapped our ip address to this particular name which is aceknowledge.com well if i directly type any address with the address of my http server which is 192.168.1.4 over here it is in the desktop uh, 10.4 it's not 1.4 it's 10.4 okay so I should get hello folks which I'm getting right so what happens is this is my I uh, as of now I have assigned address to my HTTP server right and I'm getting the web page back but I want my domain name to be assigned to this address okay so what i have to do is i have to take a dns server now so let's take a generic server 
and connect it back over here to this server and let's give uh, why is it saying the cable cannot be connected to that port okay so there are times where switch i guess does not connect to server because uh, of some limited number of ports switch has so let's add some port so if we take a generic switch over here uh, we need to add some ports but if we take uh, switch 295024 over here then we don't need to add the ports so let's add some port for this switch let's open this switch and first let's turn off this particular thing and add some four ports one two three and four let's on this back again make sure that green light appears over here let's close this so it will take some time to configure now that this green lines are lit up let's connect this let's connect our switch to our server and here it gets connected so that was the issue of port you need to add some ports as shown now so uh, if you take 29529524 switch then you don't need to add those ports right so now let's configure let's give this name as this is our dns server and let's assign an ip for this dns server so we have 10 dot okay so for this ip it was 10.4 let's make a note over here 192.168.10.4 let's give dns as so we have dns we have given the ip for dns over here already dns server we, we, are, we were having as 10.40 so we need to pass the same ip address over here 192.168.10.40 and the default gateway is 192.168.1.1 so now get into config again now our row our part is to deal with dns so make sure you are keeping all the services rest rest of the all services as off and just focus on the dns part so the name over here domain name which i want to give is ace knowledge my channel's name ace knowledge.com and the address of this particular http server right because it will this you know, this address will map this particular domain name so i need to give the address 192.168.10.4 and i'll simply click on the button add so over here the address domain name has been added for this particular ip address so now let's close this thing let's get into pc0 and now we'll type our domain name which is ace knowledge dot com and we'll click on the button go so here i get hello folks as my as my output which i have designed over here for this particular page right so that's how dns actually works by mapping your ip address to your domain name right so that's it from this video thank you so much for watching if you have any doubts uh, do comment in the comment section and most important don't forget to subscribe